100 meters. And uh, let's go through the field as they get underway, really, because um, we have uh, three heats. And I'm just looking through. I'm hesitating. I'm just... Well, there is the first part of the lineup of this uh, first heat of the semi-final round of this uh, 1500 meters. There's Tom Lancashire for Great Britain in there, the European and Commonwealth 1500 meters finalist in this first heat. But that's uh, Ses Fay, the former Ethiopian, fifth in the World Championships last year. So I'd expect him to be there or thereabouts. It's the first three plus three, two to the final, and uh, that really is quite. Uh, a tough one on this, so it's, it's going to be a true run race in every sense. There's Bustos of, uh, of Spain. Uh, he's got a 3.34 time to his credit, and uh, you ought to look out for him as well. There's Everard of Ireland. There's Tom Lancashire. Seen a lot of him on the, on the cross-country early on, and uh, he fell in the UK Championships, incidentally, did uh, Tom, so he'd want to do well here just to redeem himself a little. Cantera of France, the Italian. Just looking uh, on the right of the shot. In fact, uh, there's Wittner of the Czech Republic, and uh, there he is in the middle of your picture. So three and three-quarter laps of the track. I've been told to stand back. It will be interesting to see how this is run. And, of course, when you've got three fastest losers and you've got three heats, then it becomes tough. So those that come in the last heat know pretty well what they've got to do and if they're not absolutely confident of um, taking the top three places. It's a very acute qualification, isn't it? Well, it's very quick to get out of the blocks and uh, to get into the running. You see the Bustos of uh, Spain has uh, gone up very quickly as they go into that uh, first bend. It's now eased down quite nicely, actually. You see the Italian, there's uh, Abdi Kadar, second in the European under-23. That's Contero, the Frenchman. Look, he's got in front and he's slowing it down. Now, if those who really need to get the times, then they're going to have to start thinking about what they're going to do here. Kazi, Wittner is there. Tessafe, the German, looks very, very comfortable in about sixth place with three laps to go in this first heat. Nothing from uh, Owen Everard of Ireland yet, the Irish champion back in 2013. But these are interesting races, Martin, and uh, qualification, it's not like Diamond League racing, this is proper racing, this is about uh, getting yourself into the right place at the right time, and that's Kazi of uh, Hungary, who's gone into the lead. Yes, they were just outside 60 seconds at 400 metres, so it is a very modest pace. It's been picked up a little bit now. You can see how they're stretching out, but it's a, as you said, Stuart, it's a particularly tight qualifying process. The first three, so certainly I would have thought for 1,400 metres, even the best of the athletes here are going to have to really be running pretty close to 100%. Bustos, you can see looking around, the Spaniard there in third place. Tom Lancashire putting himself into a decent position to respond coming into two laps to go in this uh, first heat of the 1500 meters and uh, as you say Kazi of Hungary is 17 times the Hungarian champion over 8 and 1500 meters he's been around a long time but his best is still only 338 but uh, Kazi quite happy to take this ahead of the uh, Frenchman Cantero you can see him there and Tom Lancashire is in a good position at the moment and uh, looking to stay in that position as long as he doesn't get himself boxed in. Well, that second 400 metres was faster than the first, but not by that much. You can see how they've slowed down again. It was 61 through 400. They clocked then something around about 60 seconds, maybe a shade inside. But now the kickers are starting to line up, and this is where these athletes have to be on their metal. If they're not careful, they could put themselves in a position where simply it'll be too long for them to respond. Everybody's taking position. They're running wide. It's going to be a sprint race over the last 400. Well, it is 
indeed. And Philip Ingebrigtsen of Norway, haven't mentioned him uh, too. He's now moved into third place. The younger brother of uh, the European champion, Henrik, is also in this uh, competition. Rogstedt of Sweden, quite happy to take it on. Ingebrigtsen in third place behind the Spaniard, uh, David Bustos. And uh, Tom Lancashire's trapped on the inside. Tessa Fay, um, I'm just looking for him. And... Uh, he will surely come through in the final stages of this race. He's in fourth place at the moment. I can see him now. So Inga Britson leads. And in second place is uh, Rodset of Sweden, the world youth champion at 800 in 2009. It's a bit of a shock win, actually, that for him. They're coming in. And Inga Britson really has uh, judged this very, very well indeed. He's going to take this, and here comes Tessa Fay into second place. And Bustos is going to try for third. Does he get there? I don't think he does. I think Rogstedt gets the uh, place. And uh, the first three by right, and Inga Britson, that was a good uh, calculated uh, run by him. <laughs> Enjoyed it too, didn't he? What a family. He was eighth in the Oslo Dream Mile, incidentally. Good win.